Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. We are in Toronto. It is 8.50 p.m. on Wednesday, September 20th, and we flew in yesterday and it was dark when we got here. And um, I have not really properly started the vlog, so I figured we'd do that. So first thing, I got my hair done this morning. We went darker and I have what I consider bangs, which is so exciting. I mentioned that I had been waiting to get my hair done and Jordi has done my hair for like as long as I can remember and she moved to Toronto last spring, which was really sad, or I guess this past spring. And so as soon as I knew I was coming to Toronto, the first thing I did was let her know so I could get an appointment. The salon she works out of is called Bleach Temple. If you're in Toronto and you're looking to go blonde or just need a hair colorist, she is your gal. So, so good and I was just like thrilled. And what a life hack it is to like come to a place for like work events and get your hair done first so then it's like set and ready. It feels so fresh, it feels so, so good. We took probably about like, I wanna say like three inches off the bottom and it just feels so bouncy and light and I'm so happy with the dark. So obviously that's the first thing that would probably be noticed. So I wanted to mention that. Today was kind of just filled with a bunch of meetings. Like I said, got my hair done this morning and then quickly came back to the hotel, did a quick outfit change, and then we went to get coffee with Scott, who is from Zach Communications, talked all things Fenty Beauty and Orbe, and it was really fun. And then we went over to the One Milk, Two Sugars offices, which is another PR agency here in Toronto, and Maddox I have known for years. And so I just got to learn about all of their brands. They have like Elf and Key Soul Care, Genuine Health, and like a bunch of stuff. They gave us two really heavy bags, so I'll definitely do like a little PR haul at some point in this video and yeah they were super super generous i love a lot of the brands that they rep so it was really good to learn more about their launches and their upcoming projects and things like that and the reason we're actually in toronto is because tomorrow which is thursday we're going to a shine talent event if you don't know shine talent is my management and i've actually never met my manager jordan in person so i'm really excited to meet her and to meet the rest of the team and to be out here they did an event last summer and we weren't able to go and so i'm very excited to be able to go this year i feel like i'm coming off really really tired in this clip because I am we went to bed super early last night which was really good but today's just been like a full-on day and then last thing we did tonight was meet up with my friend Alyssa and then her friend who actually lives here and the bar we went to tonight was called bar Mordecai there's like karaoke in the bottom we didn't do that but we had like drinks their food is like tapas style it was really really good it's very pink even the bathroom had like a disco ball in it so yeah, it was really fun. So yes, today has been a jam-packed day and I kind of like that. I kind of like getting to a place, doing a busy day, and then tomorrow we have nothing planned during the day except for the event tomorrow night. So we're gonna go do some shopping, hanging out. We are staying at the beautiful Andor House Hotel. This is like a really cute boutique hotel and it's in a really great area. And so tomorrow when it's daylight, I will show you guys around and share the little bits of the hotel because it's super super cute. I'm really tired so I'm gonna just like get ready for bed, take my makeup off and edit some reels, read my book. This is the book I'm currently reading. It's actually from the library which is very exciting. I don't have too much left because I read mostly on the airplane like I didn't do anything else and if you didn't see my last video, my everything shower video, go watch it and I talk about a couple of the books I was reading and this is the sequel to It Happened One Summer and I've really been enjoying it. So gonna go do some skincare we'll get ready for bed i'm pretty tired so i'm hoping to have a bit of an early night and then we'll catch up with you guys in the morning good morning friends welcome to the next day i just got myself like 25 percent ready because cody and i are gonna go walk around explore we're in kind of a fun area and there's a jewelry store that i really want to go to so that's kind of the plan for this afternoon i also really want to go to italy i've never been sounds really good and tonight is the shine party so I want to make sure I have a good meal before we go so I'm not hungry and also because we'll probably be drinking tonight so very excited for the prospects of today as I mentioned I got a bunch of stuff from one milk two sugars and a couple of their brands are Florence by Mills and Keys Soul Care so this morning I tried out the it's like skin two-in-one concealer and tint it has like a doe foot applicator this is the shade uh, 180n and I really like it I started to apply it as like just concealer and then I ended up kind of blending it out on my face with a flat brush here and I really like it I feel like it's gonna be great for like those minimal makeup days and for moments like this one I want to look a little bit put together but I don't need a full face and I curled my lashes use some brow gel and then for blush I use the brand new Florence by Mills cheeky pop blush stick apparently these are like brands making new this is the shade Rosy Rona it is so pretty and it has like a little twist cap so super easy to apply I just like put it on my cheek and then blended it out with my finger 
And then I used a couple MAC products on the lips, Spice Lip Liner, and then C3 Lip Gloss. And that is my look for this morning. Before we head out, I figured I would give you guys a room tour and show you this super cute hotel room. So this is the vanity area. We have the sink and everything. Obviously, we have been here a couple days, so we have completely moved in or else this would have been, you know, normally clean. So there's the door and then the vanity room is just off to the side with a nice big closet. So we've taken advantage of that as well and hung things up and set out our shoes. And then there's a couple full length mirrors in this place, which is really, really nice and very convenient. I love the little decal that says, and so the adventure begins. Very cute. I love the touch. And yeah, it's really nice full length mirror. And then across the way is the bathroom. I'm obsessed with these floor tiles and the shower is really nice. It's like a waterfall shower. Obviously it comes with a shampoo and conditioner, but yeah, super cute. Love the tile. And then there's another full length mirror here as well. Love all the details. And then when you walk into the room, lighting is not the best. I feel like we're kind of shaded, but the room has been really dark at night, which is really nice to sleep in. The room came with a disco ball, which is so great. The bed over here, super comfy, lots of good like lighting and controls beside the bed, which I really appreciate so you don't have to get up. And then we have the more stylized side. So we have two chairs, a little table. Cody got us some Tim Hortons coffee this morning. Their pumpkin spice, uh, is it cold brew? Pumpkin spice cold brew? It's really good, highly recommend with oat milk. And they have a smeg kettle and obviously like some wine and stuff we have used, you know, put our treats and stuff out here. Probably one of the coolest features is the record player that they include in every room, I'm pretty sure. Very, very cute. And they do actually have some records to play down there. Here's the sign on, super cute. And they left an adorable note and lots of like snacks and treats and stuff, which was super sweet. We have dug into some of the treats. I tried these last night, these blueberry lavender shortbread cookies. They are so good. And then they also left some beauty items. There is a face cream and a soap, which is so cute. I'm really glad I pulled that because I just realized that the windows open. So much better light. So that's the room. It's been really, really comfy. We actually just asked them to bring up some bathrobes, so I'm excited to wear those. There is also a continental breakfast option that they kindly gave us as well. It's been really good. It's just in the lobby from like seven to 10 and they have really good like loaves and coffee and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, the location of this place is really, really, really great. And all of the details, even the lobby, it's very boutique, but it's very, very cute. And yeah, we've been enjoying our stay here a lot. The sun is coming out now, so I think it's a good time for us to leave and go explore a little bit. And then we're gonna come back to the hotel kind of fairly early because I wanna get ready and also shoot some content before we go, so I wanna leave. Lots of time to be able to do that and not be rushed and stressed, but yeah, today's gonna be really fun. didn't bring the vlog camera, but we're at Italy and we're at La Pizza. I can't remember the name of it. La Piazza. Um, and I ordered the Noki. Cody got a margarita pizza and it looks really good. Cody ordered a affogato with salted caramel gelato and it looks really good. Mm. That was really fluffy. Yum. That's probably the saltiest caramel I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Hello friends, it is a while later. We have been filming content, getting ready. And we are now dressed and good to go to the event. It actually like just started, so we're a little bit late. This is my fit. I did like a little TikTok or something that you guys are gonna see. This top is from Abercrombie Men's Section. This is actually what Cody had picked out but I decided I wanted to wear it, which is very nice of him to let me do that. So this is the top and then the skirt is from Garage and then I'm just wearing my white Converse. I was gonna bring my Adidas, but they kind of give me blisters, the new ones I got. So I wanted to like hold off, I didn't wanna be in pain. And then we have the new coach bag. And then Cody and I are matching. He's wearing like a green sweater vest from Old Navy that I had originally picked out, but then I was like, we can do a swap. Polo from Old Navy, as well. Old Navy pants, Abercrombie, chest boots little jacket thing. Very fall, very fall colors. So we're gonna get our Uber and we're gonna head over.
Hello friends, I feel like I have done an absolutely terrible job of vlogging this trip. I didn't realize how like go, go, go it would be. I thought we would like have a bit more time, but nonetheless, it's our last evening here in Toronto and in about half an hour, we're gonna go meet up with Jackie and Tyler for dinner. And that's kind of like our last thing. And then I'm doing brunch with my cousins before we fly out tomorrow. And I wanted to kind of give you guys a recap because I didn't really vlog at all yesterday. It feels like I showed you guys our outfits, but we went to the Shine event and they also gave us a goodie bag. So I wanted to share that. I thought I'd do a quick, like fast version of a little bit of an unboxing. First up from Shine, I'm so excited to try. They put AG1 in the goodie bag. So I've heard mixed reviews. I'm going to try it out probably on TikTok to see how I like it. This is like a a sheet mask but for like your cooch area that's kind of fun there's a Josie Moran argan sugar bomb body scrub the palm brush this is also really exciting k18 I've tried a sample size of this but I'm very excited to have a full size lots of different sunscreens we have one from Sunbomb, Tula and then this one's a Paula's choice moisturizer with SPF there's also a Paula's choice exfoliant which you guys know I've talked about before super excited to try this this is from sage it's their power down calming oil blend that sounds so lovely a couple products here from she glam I don't think I've ever tried any of their makeup got a MAC lipstick. Very excited about this. This is an anti-chafe stick from First Aid Beauty. They also included a moisturizer and I've never tried this one and it's so small and so little. So I think this will be great for the purse. Uh, some bum lipstick or sorry, chapstick. I have this one actually. It's great because it has SPF in it and you wouldn't think about your lips burning like sunburning, but they do. And then a mini Tower 28 mascara. I love this mascara. A couple products from Say. This is a mascara and then a like blush stick, dewy blush. I'm very excited about those. I've heard a lot of great things, but I don't have anything from Say. Also got a mascara from Stila. This is a Grown Alchemist day cream and then a little highlight from Lottie. And then the last couple things, Organica included a chocolate collagen powder, which I think is gonna be best in coffee. So I will definitely try that out. And then NYX included a gift card, which is very exciting because I love NYX stuff. And that was everything in the Shine goodie bag, which was really good and definitely brought me back to like my beauty con and style con days where you just get a bunch of stuff from a bunch of brands and then you walk out and you don't even know what's in your bag until you get home and dump it out. It was very exciting. Moving now onto the stuff from One Milk Two Sugars. So some of their brands include Keys Soul care I have yet to try other than that skin tint I tried earlier in this video I haven't tried any of their stuff and they recently sent me a package so I have lots to choose from very excited to try out more this is the illuminating serum harmony mask which apparently is a favorite there's an eye cream and this one's really big this is a renewing body and hand wash and that sounds really nice and also a peptide serum one of my favorite brands that they work with is Florence by Mills so we got a stacked little goodie bag here have some under eye patches these are like a brand favorite favorite these are brand new you guys saw me use one earlier but they're blush sticks they're cheek pop blush sticks these are so good very creamy and like the pigmentation actually stays throughout the day which is really nice after testing it we got some eyeshadow pencils and things like that and then this is a see you later by phase eye makeup remover which sounds really nice this is a really cool product this is a ph adjusting lip and cheek balm so it kind of tints your cheeks and lips according to your pH. Another brand they rep is e.l.f., which is very exciting. I love e.l.f. products and I've been using e.l.f. for years and years. I remember having to be going down to Target to get anything e.l.f. and I feel like, I don't know, they've just grown so much as a brand and I really like their stuff. I got a couple of their like wands, these halo wands. I already have the contour one and I really like it. So they also included a blush and a highlight. So I'm very excited to try those three. I've also never tried the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I have that so I can compare it. Uh, this is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter, and I got two different shades so I can contour with it too and test it. Very excited they included this because I'm actually running low. I have one literally right here in my bag and it's almost empty. So very excited to have another uh, Power Grip Primer. It's fantastic. If you guys remember back in the day, OG e.l.f. products, they had a lip scrub, which was like revolutionary at the time. They relaunched it and this one is a coffee exfoliant. So I'm very excited about that. They also included some lipsticks and then some other products in here. I'm really excited to try their like loose powder, Halo Glow setting powder. And then they also have their very own puff and we know how I feel about a puff. And then some e.l.f. skin, we have the Holy Hydration face cream and then it's some eye makeup remover. Another brand they included that I haven't tried anything from is La Line. La Line. So there's a shower gel. That sounds really nice. This is a scalp. No, 
salt scrub with argan oil. When we left that meeting, Cody's hands were really dry and he asked if I had any lotion and he tried this out. This is the body cream, Dead Sea Minerals body cream. It smells so, so good. And last thing from that brand was the Botanical Body Serum. That all sounds very nice and luxurious. Moving on to the next brand, I got so many products from Herbivore that I'm very excited to try. We got Milky Way, Fruit Moon, the Phoenix Oil, Lapis Oil, which I've heard is very good. We got the Blue Tansy. That's a mask. Supernova eye cream. Orchid. This is a facial oil and it smells delicious. I love the scent of jasmine. We got the Nova Serum, which is a newer launch, but also really, really popular. It has vitamin C and turmeric. And then these are new for holiday. I don't know if they're like out yet, but they have body scrubs and there's a hot cocoa scent. I had to open this right away. Made everyone smell it. It smells so good. I cannot wait to use that. And then there's also a chocolate mint one too. They also included some stuff from Clinique. This is the Take the Day Off. I've only had the mini of this, so that's very exciting. I know how popular that product is. The Moisture Surge, which is a classic. We got a mascara, the High Impact High Volume. That sounds actually really nice. Even better, Clinical Radical Dark Spot Corrector and Interrupter. That's very cool. The Almost Lipstick. Oh, is that the one? Black Honey. That's the like one everyone talks about. <gasps> that's exciting. Okay, very excited about that. It's also one of those ones that like, looks dark but goes on a little bit lighter and then like reacts to your skin i think i need to do more research but um looks like they included a couple of those and lastly we have some stuff in here from genuine health these are new launches from them they're a stress mood and memory supplement i told cody he should start taking the memory one so i will do my best to give those a try they seem really really good i'm also very excited to try their greens powder i've heard a lot of good things and we love a greens powder so Excited to try that. And then the last thing, which is very, you know, on brand for the SIBO book I actually just read, and they talked a lot in that book about probiotics. So I was given a probiotic. I'm very equally excited to try the health stuff along with all the beauty items. And I just, I feel very, very spoiled. There's so much here and I'm just, a lot of different brands that I'm very excited to try. Forgot, there's one last thing that we got last night at the event. I do, I think, have a clip of me like testing out some of the earrings, but this brand is Hilberg and Burke and their jewelry was stunning. They had a whole activation at the Shine event. We got to pick out whatever earrings we wanted and I went with the sparkly uh, cheetah print ones and they're like hoops, I'll pull them out. Here is what the hoops look like. They are so sparkly and so pretty and I thought the cheetah print was like more unique. The gold and the silver were gorgeous as well and yeah, these are the medium sized ones. They have smaller and then they have bigger and it was honestly such a great little gift to get from an event like that. I was very excited because obviously I love jewelry, so. Yeah, that is basically the haul. I don't know how we're gonna pack all this back. I truly do not know, so like pray for us for that. And uh, we're gonna go to dinner because we're, you know, kind of crunched on time and we should leave in about five minutes. So I need to go get ready. Here's my fit of the night. I didn't show you my outfit earlier, which I regret because it was really cute. And this is like a different version of it. The top or the tank top and the skirt is from Dynamite. The jacket is my vintage one. I feel like I wear this so often like way too often <laughs> at this point but it's like the only like thicker jacket i brought on this trip earrings are princess polly i believe this is made well shoes are called spring because i didn't bring my other ones but yeah that's the fit i think i'm not gonna bring the vlog camera because again we're going to a restaurant that's like casual but also probably has music playing and it's like kind of a pain with my bag because i'll just wear my coach bag so yeah anyway that's the fit for tonight